Right. This video is to show you how to download the graphing calculator for the computer. Um, specifically, the version I'm going to show you is for a PC, um, but there are versions for Android as well, and I believe uh, Mac. All right, what I'll do is I'll put the links that you need to go to in the description, so that way um, you don't have to copy, uh, you don't have to uh, type in a long link, and you can just copy and paste. All right, so the first step is to go to this link. Okay, it'll take you to Google Drive where we can download a file. So bring up your browser, paste it in, and it says no preview of preview available because it's not um, a picture file or a text file. Um, it's just a program. So we're going to click download in the middle of the screen. All right, so let's go click that. And now it's asking me where I want to save the file. So my recommendation is to save the file on your desktop. Um, you can put the file anywhere you want, but if you put it in a location that's easy to find, um, it'll make the rest of the steps pretty straightforward. Um, the default name of the file is files.exe, so we don't need to change anything there. So it's files, it's saving it on my desktop. I'm gonna click save. And if I minimize, you'll see that's the file that I just downloaded right there. Okay, next step. We're going to double click on files.exe. What's going to happen when we double click on it is it's going to extract two files that are inside it. All right, so let's first double click on files.exe. And when you double click on this, you might get a warning um, from your firewall or from Windows Defender about running the file. So let's see what happens. All right, so it does warn me Windows Defender is trying to protect me because it doesn't know about this file and wants to make sure it's safe. Um, so just click Run, or if it's in your firewall, click Allow, whatever you need to do to run the file. So click Run. All right, so now it gives me a location that it's going to extract the two files that are within that file I just downloaded. I'm going to do it right on the desktop. So now it says click Extract and you're going to be asked for a password. So we click Extract, okay, and the password I will tell you in class. Click OK. And you can see we've just created two new files. Wabbit EMU and this other one, TI84 plus C underscore OS dash 4.28 or 4.20. And those are the two files that it says in the directions you should have. The TI84 plus C underscore OS and Wabbit EMU dot EXE. Okay, step seven. Double click on Wabbit EMU dot EXE. Now normally when you double click on that, the calculator will start. Since this is the first time we've double clicked on it, we gotta set it up. Okay, so we double click on it and we get this Wabbit EMU ROM selection screen. Okay, so on the Wabbit EMU ROM selection screen, we're going to click Create a ROM image using open source software. Okay, so that's the last option right at the bottom. Okay, and then we'll click Next. So click that, click Next. Now it says the calculator type. The other file that was extracted, this one right here, is specifically for a TI-84 Plus C Silver Edition. So, when we get to calculator type in the directions, I tell you to click TI-84 plus C Silver Edition. So we'll click that and then click Next. Okay, so we've told the calculator what kind of calculator we want to use. Now we have to tell it where the instructions are for that calculator. You used to be able to download it from the TI website, um, but that doesn't seem to work anymore. So now what we're going to do is on the OS selection screen, click Browse for Operating System Files on my computer. And then we're going to find the file that we just extracted in step 6 that's named TI-84 plus C underscore OS. Okay, so let's try that. So click Browse, or click Browse here, and then click the Browse button. And there's the file TI-84 plus C uh, OS. So click open. All right. Let's 
scroll down a little bit. Now we're back to the screen we were just at again. The file should be typed in, which it is right there. And now we're going to click on Finish. Okay, once we click Finish, it's saying Wabbit EMU Export ROM. So it's basically asking us, where do you want to save this last file? It's important that we save it in the same location as the other two files that we just created. All right, so I'm going to minimize. And I'm going to save this file in the desktop. And you can name it whatever you want, but my suggestion is to name it TI-84 plus CSE. Okay, so we'll name it that. And then the last step says, click Save. Okay, so here's our calculator. So you notice it created a third file right here. And if you're looking at it, it doesn't look like much of a calculator because we can't actually see the buttons. So what we have to do is enable the calculator skin. So if you click View, Enable Skin, now it looks more like a calculator. Um, you can change the size of it, so you can make it a little bigger or smaller. Another thing you can do is if you go to Calculator, Options, and you go to Skin, you can click Use Cutout Skin. And what that'll do is it basically takes that gray box around the edge of the calculator away um, so you can see it. Now, sometimes I've noticed a funny thing happening with the screen. If you notice something weird and you don't see anything on the screen, okay, all you have to do is right-click anywhere on the white screen so you can get a menu, go to Calculator, Options, and instead of using the cutout skin, uncheck it, brings it back into a regular box, and sometimes just resizing the screen, whoops, not closing it, but sometimes just, if I can resize it, let's see, there we go. Sometimes just resizing the screen will reset something for, um, for some reason. All right, so that's pretty much how you set up the, um, the graphing calculator. And if you do have any questions, again, you can ask me in class and we'll take a look at it.